Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Ultra Halo Genesis. This is again a uh, recording after I actually did the video because my my microphone messed up. But now it is fine and so I am recording like a week after I did the last uh, recording after. But anyway, here I'm trying something new. Well, I'm going to be trying some new stuff throughout this entire freaking... Uh, entire freaking uh, video and I failed it miserably but you'll see that right now I'm trying grenades and blues about to die so I freak out and start using the stimulants I should have bought more stimulants because I start to run dangerously low but that's neither here nor there and now I'm wondering what the hell to do so violet dies in my stupidity and yeah You should probably try and keep all three of your people alive during this fight, though it's kind of difficult. In certain ways. Now, I know I said I hated this boss last video, but I've come to an understanding with this boss. As I said, he's really kind of needed in here, because otherwise there would only be really, you know, just shoot him up bosses. And, apparently, if you kill one of the guys, he only comes back with like 500 health. Wish I could kill him in like one or two hits then. That's perfectly fine. Although I did not know that to begin with. Um, I, did, I didn't even know that when I made the freaking videos. I didn't notice... Never mind. <laughs> Here I was... I accidentally clicked the new data instead of load. But anyway. Take number three, technically. Here I change back to, uh, force and cross because I didn't want to have the negative uh, health problems and quite frankly all I was doing was throwing grenades so I didn't really need them at all I don't really have much to say at all we decided to throw the uh, plasma thing first so I still have that. I don't know why I had that. I don't know where it came from. And it wouldn't do any real good against these guys. I don't know what their weakness is, and I still don't. Probably should have looked that up. Oh well. Slow bro. I love that part of the song. Is that a slow poke? I couldn't hear it. Whatever. And Blue, of course, dies, because they all gang raped Blue. So here I'm like, God damn it, Blue, why'd you have to. Or Leon. Whatever. Listen, I played the original Alterella and I'm used to his name being that. Yeah. Alright, what's the next song that's coming up? Uh no. Let's have instead this one. Yeah. Alright, anyways. Everyone's dead. And of course at that time, they started to die. So just my luck, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Alright, I know. Anyway. Ugh. Just looking at this, it's like I want to smack myself in the face. I am such a bad Let's Player. Why did I leave this in? Why didn't I just skip ahead? I probably should have. I probably... Actually, no. I'm going to put in a freaking annotation. Skip ahead to time. Because this is just rambling and bad commentary and not interesting at all uh, whatever Violet of course dies she dies too often uh, oh well she has the lowest health by far so it is understandable very understandable now try to revive her and this of course ends well because they gang rape her again and she dies. So by that point, I'm like, ah, oh, screw it. I don't need to revive her. Just could grenade them until they die, and then I'll heal up. Which I think works. I think this is the one that I actually win, but I can't remember. I'm just using my stimulant bees because I don't want them to die. I'm like freaking out. They're, I know those guys are like nearly dead because I've wasted like freaking six grenades on them by now.
So if you're actually watching this and you didn't skip ahead, if you give me the name of this band, uh, whatever. Give me the name of this band, and don't use Google, you lazy bastards. Oh, I use the EX ability, because I just wanted them to die. It was stronger than the frickin' uh, grenade, so why not? And then, thank God they all died, I'm like, YES! But anyway, if you give me the name of this band, I will... I will... Give you a shout-out, I guess. Probably not on the next video, probably on the one after this, because I think I'm going to make a new video, probably today. Maybe tomorrow. So I don't know. If you view it by tomorrow and give me a shout out and give me the name of this band, then yeah. And by now I was just shooting this guy because I didn't want to waste grenades because I knew the people would come back. Risky Gambit is such a good uh, attack. I will always use Risky Bam Risky Gambit. Why do I keep saying that? I will always use Risky Gambit. Whenever possible. I probably should have revived the... I think I'm looking for it right now. I have to... Yeah. <laughs> there we go. By now I revive Violet so she can wail on him too. And I think I actually do something smart here. Which is, uh... Nope, never mind. Oh, wait, nope, nope. Maybe no. Never mind. I don't do something smart. If I had been smart, I would have waited till he uh, revived all his people. Or maybe I'll be smart here. Hmm. Maybe if I'm lucky. Cause see, what I'm thinking now is he's going to bring up all his people back, right? But they'll be at short health, only like 500. So yeah, I think I'm doing the smart thing. Alright, so now he's able to do his EX attack again, which will completely rape them and take them out. Yeah, see? Okay. I'm being smart. Wait, maybe I'm... Hold on, am I? No, no, I was not smart in the least. Whatever. They're dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. It always sucks when you like look through past things and you're like, why was I such an idiot? <laughs> why did I do this th this way? What was the point? I think I'm nearly done though. I think we nearly beat this guy. So no more stupidity. Thankfully. Well, it's nearly dead, but... I don't remember, yeah, I think I'm just like, screw her, I think he's nearly dead, let's just go ahead and kill this guy, please, please die, please, I'll give you a cookie, I'll give you a hug if you die, by now I'm just like, alright fine, stimulate her, and continue to rape on him, yes, one more attack and he would have died, so I didn't really even need to heal Violet. Because we're nearly out of here anyway. So I terminated. And by now it's like, yes! Woo! Much like I am now. I don't know why Leon didn't freaking... Whatever. And this is why I didn't uh, redo the videos. Because I saved there. Which, you know, most people would do. But I didn't freaking know that the... Uh, whatever. I did not know that the uh, that the mic said messed up. So now we're leaving, going back up, and this is the end of this uh, area, thank God. And we will be going to actual cutscene, really. This is Mission Control. <laughs> Brental floss. I don't know if you'll actually enjoy me using his song here, but maybe he'll be a good bro and uh, not mind, though he doesn't know who I am does not know I exist. Here I am buying medical equipment, which is very useful because I am dangerously low.
Well, I must commentate on, though soon I'm going to be doing more uh, voice acting. My awesome voice acting that everyone loves. There's nothing new to buy here, so don't really bother going through that, unless you didn't buy the stuff beforehand. Anyways, ahem. Hey, you guys, my... You guys, the boy re... Yeah. Yeah, as my boy Reeves mentioned, my name's Tinder, my business is in mechanics. That means I fix junk and build things. I also run a goods joint on the sides. That's why I tell the authorities, anyway. So here you go, look, you go to Palace. It's not going to be easy. I can get you guys on board one of the transport trucks headed to Bridge Facility between Palace and Saris. But you'll have to manage getting past all the guards and walking out the rest of the way. And I hope you're not expecting to get this for free, either. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. That's the way the world works. There's a factory a ways northwest of here. Northeast, whatever. I want a specific prototype of theirs. Here's what it looks like. To get inside, take this route at this time. It'll ensure the minimal number of personnel on site. You get this part for me, and I'll make sure you guys get across no man's land. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. Scott, why didn't you say anything? Did you see any chance for me to get a word in? Man, that guy's really something else. Didn't waste a second explaining things. Leon, what do you think? Huh? Jeez, spacing out like always. Well, I guess it would be weird if you weren't. Sorry, I was thinking about something. Isn't that always the case? Ellipses. Sigh. Keep on finding gold and jewels to lay off the quack, off the quack. It's a pun and it's about ducks. Okay, anyway. There's really nowhere else you can go except, uh, well, I mean, you can go to whatever it's called, but I didn't bother, uh, because I'm pretty sure you can't do anything there anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> I like this. Well, if it's located here in the aisle, not above layer pathos, that would really be worth all that much. Especially not when compared to the price for a ferry across no man's land. Besides, this beats out fetching girl clothes for men, doesn't it? Yes. Yes, it does. What am I listening to? Oh, Led Zeppelin. Okay. Alright, so this has been the end of Let's Play, well, this episode. I'll see you all next time for more Let's Play Ultra Alley Genesis. See you then. Next time it won't be boring over whatever. Bye.